trying to work out better and so I can do something about it. Right now. Okay. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Cornell struggling for weight. Uh, uh, restart. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I have. I'm just going to risk it. I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to stick with what I got to see if it's going to work. Cornell is sticking with it. It's wearing some but What if it works? We have been surprised in the past. Yeah. My blade is 14 and an 8 inches long, so I made it just very big. I'm just hoping by making it this narrow and this thin that it doesn't snap or something during the testing. I feel pretty good with it starting to move out. I start walking off here. Oh, let's see what kind of issues I've got. Yeah, boy. I'm pretty happy with it so far. This is extremely concerning because this bike changes didn't weld up like I was hoping it would. But I could have D lands all over the inside of this one. And I think I'm out of time to start over. I'm just racking my brain on how I'm going to fix this with the time that I have left. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Order up for Dustin. I don't have any money. What if somebody ordered pizza with their mind? Actually, now there is a way to order pizza with your mind. With a new Dunn's Mind Ordering app. Ace now offers free assembly and delivery, so it's never been easier to get a great grill for your family, like a Traeger Woodpella Grill, Weber Gas Grill, or Big Green Egg Charcoal Grill, only at your neighborhood Ace. Ace is helpful hardware, folks. At Napa, we keep things moving. If it has an engine, we help keep it on the road. And if it's on the road, we have to for it. And if you need it, you can get it back. Because when it comes to saving you, our motors never quit. Boom! I'm going to boost my credit score 21 points using Experian Boost. I boosted my credit score with Experian Boost. It was free. Experian Boost has helped millions of people. How can it help you? Boost your credit scores instantly. For hell of the Experian app. My name is Anna. I help communities prepare for wildfire. Around here, wildfire is back. So how do we make the whole community more? Yeah, Marvel, you want to some food? We come together to prepare for the and build a community That's what wildfire ready neighbors are all about. We're here with resources, tools, and help you and your neighbors take action to reduce wildfire risk. Come join us. The Storewide Savings are stacking up this week at all Walker's Furniture Stores, where you can get big discounts on your favorite brands of Serta and Beauty Rest Black Hybrid mattresses. Or you can take advantage of no minimum purchase, no money down, no interest for up to five years financing. So you can improve the quality of your sleep today on the newest technologies like Herbal and Mattresses. Making it the perfect time to improve your sleep for the next week at Walker's. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
project runs and established a model for the next generation. He gave civil rights and projects and current floods of the past to say this is unacceptable. Like Jackie's legacy is more than just baseball. What he did for others. That's his legacy. After Jackie, Saturday at 8, the next day on the History Channel app. Two shoes of my heart. It's worse when I physically exert myself. I know this. I'm getting thinner. Oh. Maybe the end of my time around here. Alone, another episode of Tomorrow at 9. Only on the History Channel. Next day on the History Channel app. This flight change just didn't weld up like I was hoping it would. So I'm just racking my brain on how I'm going to fix this with the time that I have left. It looks like I have enough solid steel in the middle that I can remove those D lamps and continue on with what I have. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. At this point, I'm just hoping that the steel is solid enough that I can somehow squeeze through this round and make it on to the next one. Oh my gosh, such a small bit of now. I mean, he might end up with as much steel as Cordell has. Oh boy. Ah. I'm going to make a one inch wide blade. This is going to be thin and it's going to be lanky. It's not just creating a knife. It's possible creating a knife that can do the test of what you're required to do. Because I'm going to be fucking through sugar canes. If I have to call this blade anything, it's probably close as relative as the, uh, like a Persian fighter. I think it's going to hold up fairly well in testing. I give it a good belly on it through the chops and whatnot, so. We'll see. Boy Smith, you have one hour on the clock! My blade right now looks like a solid piece of metal, so I'm getting ready for my quench. Oh, good for Dana. He forced it to create the steel yeah. that he is then going to shape on the grinder. That's not necessarily a bad thing to do. I pull it out, and that thing looks like a bow that you could go hunt with. So I go back for another quench. Second quench. There I go this time. Oh, oh man. You, you. Still not good. <laughs> so, I know that there's something I've got to do. I end up bringing an oxygen settling torch over and I heat it up just enough and it back into shape. It's not perfect, but I'm just hoping that the judges are okay with it. Wow, Larry's blade is looking like a big old badass machete. We're going to be chopping on uh, antler and uh, some sugar cane, so I think my best bet is go for a can pie. Now I'm going to get ready to do my quench. This is where it's going to tell me if I have any deal lands, this whole thing can come apart. Bingo! Uh, I had a good strike blade for the most part. Feeling pretty good about it. So I start hogging off the steel and I started seeing a little bit of deal land. And I'm like, you know, just go ahead and fix it. If you're not familiar with the cable, it can be tricky. You can get seams buried down in there that pop up later. I cleaned up my well. So I think I'm okay on my blade. I need to know this entry. If I don't, I can just screw. You know this thing, it can just warp into high heaven. We're doing this one. I pull it out, it's mostly straight. I can grind the rest of it out, so I think I'm good now. Down to 20 minutes! No, 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 we're all like. I've got just enough steel here to make a blade that's 14 to 16 inches, but I do not have much left to make a handle out of, so I'm screwed. It's just going to have to be a hidden fang knife. I have no other choice. I don't want to go with a hidden fang knife just because that's kind of a critical point, so you want as much mass there as possible. I finally get to my fang where I wanted to, so i got to get it in one. Yeah, it's boom. All right. All four blades have been quenched. I pulled it out of the quench and I had a straight blade. Hey, something actually went right. <laughs> My last few minutes, I know I've got to try to grind these bells as well as possible. 
And if I make it on the round two, I can maybe grind away some of the D-Lang towards the cutting edge. I'm at the grinder, shaping the blade out of my front seat, the laminations of the flat part of the blade. I don't want to go home because there's the cracks, and so I try to get those taken off the best I can. Five, four, three, two, one. Gentlemen, turn off your machines, put down your tools. Round one of this competition is over. It's done everything it can possibly do to kick my rear end, and I, I feel like I've already won just by not giving up. Well, gentlemen, you all delivered within parameters, so congratulations. But the time has come for critique, which means three of you going for this competition. One of you sitting home. Chris, please present your work. Right, Chris, for the most part, nice work. Most of your steel looks pretty solid. You do have some seams from the bike chain. The biggest issues I have right now is you've got big creases right in here that actually travel down. That's something that could structurally fail. But you've got a lot of meat still on here to work with. So, good start. Thank you. Larry, you ready? Yes, I am. Please present your work. Well, you've got by far the most knife up here. That's a heck of a blade. And for the most part, your cable weld came together quite nicely. There's two wicked stress risers right there. I would suggest that you don't leave those as sharp corners, but uh, all together, nicely done. Thank you, sir. Cordell, see what you came up with. All right, Cordell. I believe this is one of the lightest blades ever submitted. You sure can move metal. But in a competition like this, one of the things we're concerned about is design the blade for the test. Is this blade heavy enough to cut through sugar canes? Something to think about as you move forward. All right, Dana, let's see what you came up with. All right, Dan, so right off, for a chopper, great profile. The handle works in my hand. That big swell back here on the chopper is a nice thing to have. Still got a significant work. The problem is, is that I can see delaminations following a lot of these springs uh, up here at the tip. Another one down here right at the tank connection. So if you move forward, you got some stuff to work on. You know me? Including the outset for you guys, if you're watching on the plane on the floor. <laughs> Evidence for sending him to prison. To prison, you be going. To prison, to prison, to prison, you be going. That's just the ground material. So I'm not looking forward to it. At the end of this round, the judges will test your blades for strength and durability in a moose antler chop. And we're going to check the under tension in a sugar cane slice. Good luck. Your time starts now. So a lot of the crates are made from article board or plywood, but there are some good, decent pieces of hardwood in there. 
There's no one doing around to just go and get my handle material. Plywood could split or crack, so I gotta find a good solid piece and try to use that. Now, for a day, it's gonna be interesting. I don't think it's gonna be heavy enough to cut through sugar canes. Yeah, I don't know about that. <coughs> it is a specific design for the chest they have, but there is nothing I can think of to make it better. This is what I went with, so this is what I'm stuck with. So, first thing I'm gonna do is address this blade and try to take care of the issues that the judge has addressed. As I'm grinding, I do see that I have a bad elimination towards the Ricasso area. There is a lot of stress in that point. Everything travels up towards the handle. You uh, also have to be careful because it's already quite a light blade. So the more he grinds to fix some of the laminations, the lighter that blade's going to get. I'm able to address enough of my D-lands to feel okay with moving on to the handle. Hopefully not much in this bad spot comes into contact with the handle. Or... The first thing is I want to address the issues that Dave talked about. The way he's got those shoulders cut, that's a huge stress riser. And we've seen swords snap off right at the guard right at the shoulder. So I'm going to round these edges up, make everything smooth. It's looking a little bit better. I got it rounded out a little bit. Now it's just going to straighten the rest of my handle. So now I'm going to ready to shake the handles. I don't know if they're going to do this blade. I'm going to try to make it more on the beefy side. That way they have something to grab a hold of. He's got a pretty thin profile on his handle. He's going to end up with the blade that wants to be held sideways. I got straight times with bigger handles than that. Halfway through, guys, you have one hour left. I've got a hidden tang knife. I got a new one of those things. I have a golem's guard, so I decided to try to do a somewhat frame construction. I was wanting some like harder to keep, and instead, what I'm working with is just plywood scrap stuff that they make. Oh, this is a joke. I don't know if Chris even grabbed any of the good wood. So I cut out my frame. I go to fit my tang in it and just pops apart. Ah, damn it. Start another one. That was no good. Maybe third time the charm, I guess. And I don't have time for this. Knowing that the clock's ticking in the back of my head, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Well, you still can. Kane Heiser Bush faces their toughest challenge yet the government. By 1918, we have the Constitution to outlaw alcohol. If we just sold the ingredients, the boost bags and sex that built America. A new episode Sunday at 8 on the History Channel. Welcome to your world. Your why. What drives you? What do you want to leave behind? Thank <laughs> you. 